is hot. Okay, so I'm sitting in a car right now and I'm I'm doing my video from the car again because why not? Because why not? You know, I don't have my background. You know, I switch it up a little bit. I want to do something outside, but I don't have like nowhere to like stand the phone up because I don't have like a, a I don't know. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So it's this is called hurt with a whole bunch of exclamation points okay so basically we're going to be reading this story again i said like i said these are from the app called ask herby and I basically i kind of react to them and then give advice you know because you never know who could who could be going through a similar situation and they might need advice or they just want to hear something or they just want to talk you know so anyway so i'm going to read this and this one has a lot of comments so let's say hurt I recently stopped working due to, due to the C word. We already know what the C word is. It's the code. Due to the code. My job won't start up until September. Nope. Anyways, my husband is an essential worker. So we only have his income in our savings. His brother and cousin got into some BS without speaking with me. Well, girl, you don't get unemployment with the $600 every got You don't get that? But anyway, he cleared our savings from... He cleared our savings from thousands to 40 bucks. Wow. Who did that? His brother and cousin got into some BS and without speaking with me. Oh, and without speaking with me, he cleared our savings from thousands to 40 bucks. Why? I'm so mad because that's all we had. Mind you, those guys have good jobs, but ass wipe listened to a sob ass story and now has put us in a bind. We were saving to buy a house. Now we can't, and I feel like I'm about to die. I'm so hurt. And, the, and the, to add insult to injury, he said, you act like it was your money. Oh, hell no. You act like it was your money. Nope. That's my family. What would you have done? Everything isn't about you. I'm hurt because I've given and sacrificed so much for him. What should I do? Well, at this point, I feel like it depends on what the situation was and why he gave them money. You know? Let me see what the comments say because I don't know. Like, if, if his family was in something where they really, really needed the money and, you know, y'all probably can put that. Y'all can probably, I don't know. How much would it take? You just said 1000 Was it 2000 Was it 1000 I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the situation. I'm kind of in the middle because why? Well, it depends. You know, if he, 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 they really needed something, you know, and he gave it to them, or if it was something petty and he gave it to them, but if he really, if they really needed something, just imagine you being in that situation and you being able to call on somebody to, you know, get out of that situation yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. Like, it's the COVID and everything is going on, but you never know what somebody's situation is. And, you know, if he's being, um, he was if he's saving them from a certain situation like, you know you never know like i've had situations where you know you had to reach into savings and then to do something but then you eventually you'll put it back it's money money comes money goes okay so let's see what some of these comments say so somebody said praying that you'll leave him in the past you deserve better and maybe joint accounts aren't the best thing she said it's not really not at all she said no you need to leave him he's disrespectful and doesn't consider your feelings beyond f f up he didn't consent or anything she said exactly i'm so tired why are you girlfriend why are you trying to convince her to leave her man nope. i think a lot of people were saying leave because of that i don't think that's the reason to leave your whole ass husband honey baby you need to leave decisions like this you don't make a loan if he did that without your knowledge what else is that dude doing as for if that was my family f them <sighs> They have jobs, they knew your situation, or at least your husband did. Your husband is a POS for putting both of you in a financial bond, and his cousin and brothers are POS because they have a job. Hopefully, you don't have kids that will make all bad. If you have to ask, I guess you already know, but looking for reassurance. So, nope. I'm guessing if these people have good jobs, that they maybe borrowed the money and they're going to give it back, or something happened. Like, there's got to be some backstory. You got to get a backstory because everybody jumping on this man's coattail, leave him, leave him, leave him. But you don't know what happened. That's your husband. You don't just leave your husband for a little simple shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was just a, a, a lack of communication. You could have went and communicated to him like, hey, what happened? Why did they do this? Or why did they do that? Or whatever. Or communicate to him like, babe, I don't like the fact that you gave away all our savings. Now, how are we going to get it back? Or discuss how, you know, what's going to happen next. Not to just up and leave your whole ass husband for something simple like that. Like, that's why marriages don't let now. People be so quick to leave. People be so quick to leave. But marriages until death do us parts for better or for worse for sickness or for poor. Then don't, don't. Ain't got, mm, okay? 
So she goes, yeah, it is, it's, I very, it, whoa, Missy? Yeah, I guess she's trying to say it's very much over. This is one of many times he's done this, and honestly, looking at him makes me sick. Or one of many times. You ain't said that in the top. You ain't say that in the top. You ain't say one of many times, girlfriend. Now you saying it at the end, after I done talked all that shit. <laughs> Okay, somebody said, once I started making financial decisions without my wife, emotionally tied in automatically, it was a done deal. Thanks, you are, and then she said, thanks, you are definitely, that is all I needed. I don't want to be a quitter, but I'm not going to be made to struggle over BS. All right, so she just made situations all different because she said that he did this multiple wow. times. And honestly, I think it's a communication thing between the two. Like, did y'all communicate if, when he did it before or did you just sit back and be bitch about it you know what i'm saying did you say to him hey babe i don't like that you did this or did y'all sit back and communicate about it did y'all try did y'all try you have to try um because honestly out here it, it's not many people out here that's that's willing to do good and help people out it's not many so you know just be careful with what you're doing and don't make decisions while you're angry don't make impulsive decisions don't listen to just random people on the internet who don't know you and your husband they don't know you they don't know your husband they don't know what you did to your husband they don't know what your husband did to you so that shouldn't be a decision that you're getting or um making based off a of random hoe mm, random people on the internet okay anyway that's the end of this video if you like the video make sure you leave a like and then, if you dislike the video make sure you leave a dislike if you like, leave a comment or a hate comment or whatever comment. We'll do whatever you want to do. Just, you know, put some engagement over here. If you, you don't want to watch the video, then don't watch the video. But at this point, if you're watching this, you already watched the video. Anyway, <laughs> make sure you like, wow. comment, and if you would like, subscribe. Classy, bougie, ranch. <laughs> Bye.